Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a few video mistakes that I made years ago when I first started making videos and how you can avoid them so you don't have to spend all that time and energy making those mistakes for yourself. These are things I wish I had known and appreciated from the very start because they would have made some of my first videos look a lot more professional and interesting. You don't need expensive equipment to make great videos. What you do need is a really strong message and just a bit of knowledge about how to use the gear you have creatively. The best way to get better at making videos is just to make more videos. But to speed up your learning journey, here are four things that I wish I had known from the start that you can incorporate into your videos right now. Number one, I kept my distance with my camera. All of my shots were from the same height, from basically the same angle, and they weren't very interesting. I was worried that I would get in the way or be annoying if I was moving around with a camera. But the best videos are the ones that take us into the action. Over the years, I've found that people are more than happy to give you the space and the freedom you need when you're filming in most situations. And a lot of the time, they're excited that you're making a video and will want to help you wherever they can if you just ask them. Try to think of different angles you can capture the same scene or the same object. Try getting down really low or reaching up really high to give your audience a different perspective. We love seeing the world from an angle that we normally can't view with our own eyes. That's why people love watching time-lapse and slow-mo clips, because we physically can't view the world this way. Playing with height, playing with close-ups, and playing with clip speed can make your videos so much more interesting and look like they're a much higher professional standard. For a lot of my filming, I love using extreme close-ups in slow motion because you can really take the viewer into the action of what you're filming. You don't need fancy tools to get more creative shots, even if you're filming with your phone. All you need to ask yourself is how can I give my audience a different perspective on the way they see the world through the lens? Number two, I didn't respect the importance of audio recording. This is something I talk about a lot because it is so important. Your audience will probably forgive average footage, but they're not going to forgive bad audio. Microphones are becoming more affordable all the time. So if you are creating lots of videos, check out the links in the description to some of the audio devices I recommend when you're just starting out. But almost all of us carry an audio recording device in our pockets at almost every second of the day. You can use your phone as an audio recorder using the Voice Memo app. Proximity is the most important part of recording good audio. If you can have your phone recording your voice closer than what your camera shot is, you can sync the two up later and have a much cleaner audio feed. You can have your phone near you on a stool, on a table, stack of books, down your shirt. Men's shirt pockets are an ideal place to put a phone audio recorder that's quite inconspicuous. A little tip for iPhone users, you can enhance the quality of your audio recording by going to settings, voice memos, audio quality, and changing the setting to lossless. This means you won't lose any audio quality when your phone tries to compress the file. Number three. I didn't use music to drive the edit. Music creates the feel of the video. This one took me a long time to figure out. I used to just grab an okay royalty-free music track, slap it underneath my video at the end of the edit, press export, and I never really gave much thought to how this was affecting my video. But music can affect the video the most. Just like the type of music we're listening to can affect our mood, the type of music that we have underneath our video can affect the way the audience feels while they're watching it. If you want them to feel a certain way, the easiest way to do this is to use music to drive that emotion. When I edit my videos now, I choose the music first and use that to drive the whole story. It is worth spending the time 
finding the right music to fit the feel of your video or of your brand because it can make a huge difference to the way your audience responds to your video. This doesn't mean you need to pay a lot for your music tracks. There are lots of great free music resources out there. I've linked a few in the description for you to have a look at. Most of these come under the Creative Commons license, but it's always a good idea to have a read of the terms and conditions before you use them in your videos. Number four, my videos were too long. Take as long as you need to get your message across and not a moment more. It does take more time to say something and edit something succinctly, but it's going to do a lot for your viewer retention and viewership if you can have a short, engaging, succinct video. Long videos are awesome if your content is valuable and engaging, or if you have an audience who are your biggest fans who are going to watch anything that you put out anyway. My videos were long for the sake of being long. I enjoyed all my content because they were my videos, but that doesn't mean anyone else is going to watch a 10, even five minute video if it's not thoroughly engaging the entire time. It does take a bit longer to plan or edit a shorter, more concise video, but if it means your audience are going to stick around, that time is worth it. These four things took me years to get right. So I hope this helps fast track you on your video journey and I can't wait to see what you create. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like or a subscribe and drop me a comment to tell me what you'd like to see next time. And I will see you then. So even playing with, so playing with the clip speed of, so playing with your clip speed in your videos can make them look more visually appear. Here we go. Here we go, making blah, 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 blah. I need some water. My mouth is really dry today.